Welcome to Narrow Boat, the James Bill. Well, thanks for joining me and welcome to the Uxbridge Boat Centre. I am here because I've now got to get Vetus back into the, into the boat. And before we do that, it's a good time to plumb in the skin tanks before the engine's put in. So I've come here to buy some more of this, which is hose basically. Uh, this goes from the Vetus to both skin tanks. There's a return and flow on both tanks. I've got two tanks. This is um, internal, internal diameter of 32. It's a reinforced pipe. Obviously this is measured on an internal diameter. So this is a pipe and not a tube. Tube goes on the inside and is measured on an external diameter or outer diameter. So 32 mil and I need two meters of this. Come on. Right, Uxbridge Boat Centre, great selection of fancy ropes. Loads of cable, loads of hoses. I mean, loads of hoses, they've got it for everything. It's really good. This is the stuff I needed to buy, which is the ID32 water hose. Um, this is nine quid a meter here, but they've run out. Two mil. Uh, it's made by Vetus, it's got a metal spiral in it, which I don't Yeah, know same as that, hang on, just check. Yeah, do check. Yeah, that looks uh, right. Because it's Vetus, the bad news is 31.96 a metre. Crikey. I know. It's so I've just spent 65 quid. <sighs> Dear me. Right, let's pay for this. I could spend all day here. Look at all the good stuff they've got. Oh. Right, there we go, two meters of Vetus hose. Oh, my new urine bottle from Simply. Right, before I calculate my skin tanks, I shall show you my new slimline anodes. Check them out on the base plate. So I've got port and starboard here at the bow. I've got port and starboard here, midships. What's that one there? So that is only sticking out about, so that's a 10 mil base plate there. So that's sort of shine. What's that? It's probably only coming down 30 mil, something like that. So yeah, two midships and then two aft. So again, again there. So a little bit more blacking to do. I've also still got to black the, um, because uh, they've only had one coat, those two Brazilian strips. So I need to do another bit on them. But that's all the stuff on the outside. Uh, oh, one more thing on the outside. Let's just have a little look how the experiment is going. So you remember the old myth was that you could apply quality bitumen to steel and then put it straight in the canal and it won't affect the bitumen going off. That is the myth. So let's have a look. This stuff, obviously that is dry because that was not in the water. This stuff here, it looks like it's kind of repelling the water. Let's see if it's dry. No, not at all. Yeah, that has not worked. Put it in for a couple more days and see if it does go off. But so far, I'd have to say that the myth is not proving true. After two days, the blacking has not gone off at all. The right, Tim Cheese up there, neatly. T-I-M-M. -M. No, T-I-M. Tim, it's only one M in oh, Tim. Of uh, leave a gap, leave a decent margin, do it there. Okay. There you go. E. Kelly with an I-E. How do you spell Kelly? With an I-E. What's the matter with you two? How did you not know to spell names? K-E-L-L-I-E. Last time, well, Kelly is spelt with a Y. It can be. Capitals, Flory. I did. That's not a capital. Not, none of them are. You can change that I-E. Right, okay. I'll take over from here. Thank you. You can change that. Okay, back in the engine bay, you'll see here that there's one hose connected to that skin tank there. And there's another skin tank there. So let me just explain 
firstly about the skin tanks, the hoses, and why we need them. This is the Vetus 42. And unlike the Lister on Slow Patrol, which is an air-cooled engine, it has a big kind of fan there, which draws air in from the outside through some big chamber and cools it down. This, much like your car engines, is a water-cooled engine. So it's got a heat exchange there, which you fill up with coolant, much like in a, in a car. Uh, and it has fittings which go into the skin tanks and the skin tanks contain the water uh, and the coolant mix which cools the engine. It all goes on a big cycle and it's called a keel cooled system. Okay, a keel cooled system um, basically means it draws in water from external tanks below the waterline and those are the two tanks. So you'll see there, there's the swim of the boat and it juts out there about an inch wide there's one tank and there's two that contains the mix of water and coolant which the engine requires to cool down as i said the lister is an air-cooled engine so it's an absolute piece of cake you don't really do anything about it um, the massive air intake takes it all but uh, this one is water cooled and i said friends have got them and they've run into a few troubles with overheating so i'm going to explain to you now the equation to work out how much capacity you need in your skin tanks for your engine for this all i need is a pen and a tape measure And you want to measure this in feet and inches. And just put a mark on the foot line. Okay, so that is four foot there. That's basically one and a half foot to there, isn't it? Right, that's not particularly useful. So, what you want to do then, oh, I've got the other skin tank on this side here to do. So I'll do exactly the same. That is two foot by one and a half foot. Okay, so I'll mark out that. Right, I'll see if I can do this before this thing falls off the wall. I'm sorry about the weird camera angle. I haven't got any tripods here. So this is about calculating your skin tank. A couple of people mentioned on comments earlier on in the series that they thought that my skin tanks were a little bit undersized. So let's find out. So I'll draw them out for you. So I have two tanks. One is two foot long, and the other one is four foot long. And they are all one and three quarter foot high. So one, let's call it, this is obviously not to scale in the slightest. Um, so we've got a full one there, and that one there is three quarters. Same there. So what you do is you add up the amount of square foot you've got. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then here I've got obviously one, two, three, four, five, six. They're all three quarters. So if they were halves, that would be three square foot. So three quarters, we'll call that four square foot. So in total, I have 10 square foot of skin tank capacity. Now the magic formula or equation you are looking for is this. Four horsepower per square foot of skin tank. So the way you calculate it is I've got a 42 horsepower Vetus divided by four equals 10.5 square foot. So basically I know that my skin tank is the right size for my engine, or should I say the engine is the right size for my skin tanks. Um, you can get skin tanks in large if you need to, you can have them made, or you wouldn't have them made smaller, you just put less, less coolant in there, but basically that's what I need. This is all based on the fact that pretty much uh, all skin tanks are the same 
thick width. They're all just they're all about an inch basically internally. So unless you've got like a really fat one or whatever, basically that is the equation you want. So as I said, I do have friends that have got boats that have been previously overheating or whatever, and they've been questioning skin tanks or whatever. But if you've got a fairly modern diesel marine engine, that's the equation you are looking for. So I know that my skin tanks in this boat are fine, so we can continue as we are. Um, and you've got to be, the other thing you'll be careful of is the proportions of um, coolant to water that you fill up with. So, but luckily I've got my Vetus manual here, which tells me everything I need to know. But if you need to know how much skin tank you've got or how much you need, that's the equation you've got. Hope that's been useful. Until tomorrow, take care, bye-bye. Goodbye boat, see you when we get back from Crick.